season five. And I uh, hope you liked my new intro. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, anyways, to move on, I've gotten a lot of requests and a lot of questions on how to make world model views for Counter-Strike Source. And the funny thing is, that it's basically the same thing as a view model, um, except for where you put the files and uh, all that sort of stuff. So anyways, uh, first off, actually instead of doing this, what we're going to do is we're going to create a folder on the desktop. Just saying finished. Alright, now we're going to go to um, the three programs that you need to have, which are GCF Scape, VTF Edit, and some sort of photo editing program. I have Photoshop CS4. Um, anyways, those will be, well, VTF Edit and GCF Scape will be in the link in the will be links in the whatever you want to call it the Dropbox uh, and uh, oops. and um, GIMP is a free program that I'll put in instead of Photoshop uh, it's pretty much the same thing except a little bit uh, less detailed anyways we'll open up our GCF scape uh, then we're gonna go open I'll zoom in a little bit for you then we're gonna go counter source shared GCF and if you get this this means that uh, the Steam is actually using it, so you have to go in and exit Steam. And I don't know if you guys like the new Steam or not. I find it's pretty good. I don't know. I like it, but um, that's just my personal opinion. Anyways, we're gonna open, and if you guys start off um, at a different spot than me, you guys might start off at like your disk where you installed it. Just go Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps username it's just in steam apps um yeah whoops anyways uh then you're gonna go to your counter strike source share dot gcf okay finally i think okay there we go there was c strike materials scroll down to models weapons and now this time instead of V models like in the other tutorial I have you're gonna go W models now this is where you will find uh, all of them and so for my view model I believe I did the uh, 57 so I might as well continue on with that now in this one as you can see there's only two files so all you have to do is just simply drag it onto the desktop and it'll drag it onto the desktop you can exit out your GCF scape and open your VTF edit. There we go. Now you're gonna go open, then wherever you drag them, I drag it onto my desktop, and then open the VTF, not the VMT. The VMT is uh, it's a different sort of file. Anyways, don't bother with any of the VMTs for any um, for any uh, skinning. But anyways, now you're gonna go file, export. Or control E and save it as a TGA file. Now, the reason why we save them as TGA files is because they have something called alpha channels, and alpha channels can be very important um, when using skin when doing skinning. Sorry. Anyways, now we're going to open up uh, the photo editing editing program. Alright, and once it opens, just go File, Open, then wherever it is, the TGA file. And this is actually less detailed than the world model, as you can see. Um, so you don't have to go into as much detail. As you can see, there's lots of jagged lines and it's not as smooth looking. But um, anyways, we're going to go Control shift n and that actually turned on my 3D zoom, sorry guys. Um, and then that creates a new layer. Now we're just gonna, I'm just gonna make a random design. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 
All right. Now you're just going to overwrite that file. Make sure it's a TGA file because, as I said, it has alpha channels. Let's replace it. You can use whatever compression size. I usually use the biggest. Um, now you're going to open up your VTF edit again. Then you're going to go. Sorry, that's wrong. Then you're going to go to import. And then wherever you overwrite, overwrote that TGA file, open up. Don't mess with any of those editing options, and you'll see your design here. And you say file, save as, and overwrite the pist underscore five seven w underscore pist underscore five seven dot VTF. So, so you make sure you replace, you replace it, and it'll make it easier. Um, now all you have to do is go to here. I'll show you guys from now. Uh, then you go wherever, whichever disk you have it, Steam on. Then you're going to go to Program Files. Steam, Steam Apps, Username, Counter Strike Source, C Strike, Materials, Models, Weapons. Now, if uh, if any of these folders aren't here, make sure you create them in this order. Your Counter Strike and C Strike materials uh, and models should be there. If Weapons isn't just created, if W models isn't created, just create it, and then create W underscore piss underscore five seven. Now ignore this because I just tested it to make sure this uh, way it works, and minimize. And now you can just move these files um, into uh, the folder. Uh, and now that's pretty much it. Now it should have a world model, and I also made a view model to go with this. So I will show you guys in screenshots. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, guys. And uh, um, I'm trying to decide whether I should make a uh, another skinning tutorial. But this one, uh, it's about proper metal skinning. So if you guys want to see that, leave a comment. And uh, like I said, comment, rate, subscribe, guys. And uh, thanks for watching.